Things I've thought about buying since I've been home. A suit from Asos, lube funny enough, because I was looking at somebody's Instagram and I was like, yeah, you would hope that the suit would lead to needing some lube. You know what I mean? Hi, I'm Claudia and I have bad money habits. I spend too much on food, I lose things a lot, and then I'll just buy more things to replace them. Who doesn't love to press buy on Amazon? When I was younger, I used to pride myself a lot on being very thrifty. I'm not saving as much or being as smart with my money as I definitely should. I have student loans, I have some credit card debt. So this week, I'm going to speak with a financial coach, see what tips she has for me. I'm going to sit down with our good friend, Gabriel. I'm gonna consciously ask him for his insight. And then third, I'm going to analyze my own finances and see where I can make improvements. I hate this video already because it's very personal and I hate talking about money. Everyone hates talking about money. I would love you just to introduce yourself to our audience so they can know your wonderful uh, level of expertise. I am Sandra Davis. I am a financial coach and educator. I teach at the university level and I train other people who want to be financial coaches, primarily in low and moderate income. What a coach does is helps facilitate you identifying what you want most and then how do you align your behaviors with what you know and then find out what you don't know. Remarkably close to what my therapist said on my first meeting with them. It's very seldom just about the money. Money. It's about what is the money doing for us? You're buying a thing and, and you're buying to figure a feeling kind of. Absolutely. When you're doing something that is not getting you where you want to be, what are you actually doing? Right? Mm -hmm. I'm already, we're my breathing, brain is already we're breathing, boom. right? <laughs> if you were to design what you want your financial life to look like right now, tell me what it would look like. I would have cleared out any credit card debt. I would have some comfortable savings. So when you think about where you are right now, what adjustments would you be able to make to get closer to that? I would stop spending at all and like pay off the credit card, I suppose, okay. which is, is the not reasonable? fun thing. Is that is reasonable? reasonable? I guess not because I would have done it by now. When you decide the changes you're ready, willing, and able to make, you'll be by far more likely to actually make them and keep that commitment to yourself than you would be if I give you a laundry list of things to do differently. You can define what it is you want to do, try it out. If it works, terrific, keep doing that. And if it doesn't work, guess what? You get to try something else. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what would you like to try on first? My thought is that one will be this button clicking purchases and the other likely food <laughs> because okay. I eat out a lot. What if I'm so bad at this, I don't wanna make adjustments though. That's my fear is that- and Here's the thing, what if you're not bad at it at all? What if you said, I'm willing to not click, be mindful of how I spend and to track what I spend to decide if what I'm doing is getting me what I want. I don't know if I can go to Mexico anymore. All right, it is Sunday. I have added up all my expenses from last week. I excluded expenses that are like medical or recurring payments or things that I like kind of have to get on the daily. Everything is sort of optional. It's entertainment, it's coffees, it's meals that I didn't have to spend that much money on. It's button click purchases. So I have a number. I'm gonna tell you it. I'm gonna trust you not to judge me. Last week, and this includes food, okay? I'm, eat, I'm eating, I just, I know I can spend less. I spent $370 last week on those combined things. That is a lot. You multiply that by four, that is so much money. And I know I can be cutting back on that and putting it towards things that I, that I need or that are important or that I need to be saving for. If I am good at controlling my spending and spending wisely, it should not be a hard number to beat. Wish me luck. I have a very busy day today. I wanted to go get a $5 coffee and like a $9 breakfast burrito. I am making my coffee at home and I'll have like granola and yogurt which I'm trying to think of as smart and winning instead of punishing myself.
Now I just watched a video where Jazz and Lindsay trade styles and I want a suit from ASOS really bad. Just like the worst kind of bad. Perfect! <laughs> okay, I didn't get the suit, which would have been like 80 to $90 total, but I, I did get a uh, jean. I tried to resist. I've spent a bunch on more food, more food than drink, but definitely still spent a lot. But you know, I've been good at little purchases. We'll take a look at the end of the week and see how I did. First of all, Gabriel, for anyone who doesn't know, he's like always taking on sort of like a fathery figure yeah. within the group. He has yeah. advice on a lot of things, but especially on real estate yeah. and money. I love talking about money. I hate talking about money. Why? You know, it's like everyone has their their different insecurities. When I have it, it's an insecurity. When I don't have it, it's an insecurity. When I don't have it, obvious reasons. When I maybe feel like I'm a little more flush, I'm like, am I using it right? Yeah. When's it gonna go away? Oh, wow. Like, so it always stresses me out. Do you know where it stems from? Money was always a point of contention in our family. To be honest with you, money is very simple. I think we overcomplicate it because we were never taught money. Especially yeah. as Latinos, we, we don't educate anybody about money in the school system. You have to make your own effort in educating yourself. There's wealth of information out there about money, but we don't. if you don't take that leap or I say it's esfuerzo, you're mm -hmm. not going to learn. When I decide I need to change my money habits, yeah. I decide I have to change everything right away. Yeah. And I have to pay off all my debt okay. as soon as possible. And yeah. I should be investing in all these different things. And okay. yeah, I overcomplicate it. For me, I have my own rule. Mm -hmm. 20%. Anything that I get paid any outside of BuzzFeed or even in BuzzFeed, my gross salary, 20% is mine. Because you need to pay yourself first before paying anybody else or any of the other debts. Mm -hmm. So that would be for you to invest, save money. Do you feel like you day to day try to save money? And do you do that because that's just your relationship with money now or because like you have this goal of a down payment on a home? Well, yeah, the goal of a down payment had to do a lot with it. Uh, I think, uh, I think a, now that I'm buying property, I see it as I need to get more money to get this down payment. Mm -hmm. So I try to get flip something to get more money. I do live a little bit more frugally. You seem it, like you're pretty simple. Simple. It's like I don't go crazy buying a whole bunch of clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really hang out like that. Once you leave your house in the day, you pay $150. Every time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my Uber, Yo. my drinks, oh. the, the thing I bought off Amazon in the Uber back home, it mm -hmm. all adds up. You know what I do? I'm like, you know what? We're going to go to the park. <laughs> the park is free, son. <laughs> and it's going to be more fun. Ready? So it is Wednesday, and today I did not get a fancy coffee or buy breakfast. My roommate has left over deep dish pizza, so that's going to be my dinner. Some money saved there. That weird noise in the background is the cat's eating, by the way. If I had bought coffee and a breakfast this morning, if I were buying dinner tonight, if I had done like an impulse buy today when I picked up my meds from like a Walgreens, I would be looking at like almost $40 that I would have spent today. You know a lot with 40 bucks. I'm not to brag or anything, uh, but I needed a new outfit for this event tomorrow night. And I went to Buffalo Exchange and ended up getting like two dresses for like 13 and $19 each. So I think I'm killing it. I still super want to just order a salad as my dinner tonight, but I'm not going to. I'm going to see what's in my fridge. I know I have fixings for a salad of my own. I know I do. I just don't want to do it. It's Friday, y'all, and I'm in a $13 dress I got from a thrift store instead of getting that ASO suit. And one day when I get a good paycheck, I will totally get that ASO suit because I still want it. I still want it real bad. But I'm really proud of myself for trying to control myself this week and getting, I mean, this was legit $13. I'm really glad that I took a chance on not spending the money and found something really nice. All right, it's a moment of truth. I did the math, I crunched the numbers. Let's find out if I saved any this week and if I did, how much I spent. Drum roll, please. $262 last week, which is 108 less than the week before. 400 a month? That's like five grand a year. I think I had just really let my spending go from conscious spending to just unconscious spending. I could eat that lunch at home. I don't need that coffee. Do I need those pants? Do I? Well, I did get one pair of pants, okay. But I didn't get other things. I really think I needed a gut check on how I was spending my money. And I'm really excited to keep implementing this mindset and save more money and just be smarter all around about it. It works.
follow, like.